Uh, you guys, you came back for the second episode of the Who Island Show. Today we're going to make the leopard wine glass, which kind of makes me feel like, like James Bond, because I'm with Orlando today. Orlando is an etched glass from ass to glass with a hand-blown bow tie coming in black and red. So, Orlando, you, what do you think about today? What, do you, what should we make? Let us make the leopard wine glass. What do you think we should make, you imbecile? Okay, well, we can put you down then for now because I'm not going to listen to Lip when I'm on the beach for crying out loud. This is what I'm talking about. This is the Lolita Leopard Wine Glass, part of the Lolita Wine Glass series. Wine recipe on the bottom of each glass. And we feature all of the Lolita Wine Glasses at Hula Island. Now that's a plug if I ever heard one, isn't it? All right, well, let's see if we can fill this guy up with because well, this is the box that comes in. Are you familiar with the Lolita wine glass box? Recipe on the bottom of the box. This would be a perfect drink for your Thanksgiving table. And being that it's Thanksgiving, come on. Go Denver, right? Guess what? I'm a big John Elway fan. And going to college next year is Big John's son, Jack. Jack? I think that's who's going to college. Well, what do we know about college anyway when we're at the beach? All right, let's make a drink. What do you say? You waited and you waited. Let's make a leopard wine glass drink. First off, we need five ounces of sparkling wine. Huh? Oh, yeah, I opened it earlier because, you know, we're filming and stuff. So about five ounces of, well, I'm using Gloria Ferrer because that's the romantic bubbly of choice. So I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five! Okay, ooh, it's bubbling, it's bubbling. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, yeah, that's really bubbling. All right, now, interestingly enough, this also has a little bit of OJ, about one ounce, and it's got some Amaretto de Zerono, which I've already pre-measured in this beautiful Swain Palm shot glass, holds about two ounces, so we might have gone a little strong, but we often do here. Oh, interesting. Look at the bottle that stuff comes in. Maybe they'll send me a check if you look at the bottle enough. Have you ever seen... Oh! One of my friends is having a heart attack, I think, because he needs some these Arono. Better check on him. Okay, then. And then, after you the Amaretto de Zerono, let's top it off with a little more OJ. About there. And you should be good to go. Now, the leopard wine glass, I mean, look at the colors on that. It's been a very popular glass for fall and the holiday season, as are all the Lolita wine glasses, but for some reason this one has been extra popular. Let's take a little sip. It's peanutty. Oh, you know, that is nectar, is what that is. Nectar of the gods right here. What do you guys think? We've cleared the beaches, they're all heading up here. I better stock up with some of this stuff. Now, what better to uh, have a little bit of a leopard wine glass drink than you can sushi it up a little. Now, notice in the Tropicooler serving bowl by Clay Art, we've got some California rolls, and I think my friend Shiggy made me a couple of like, what do we call them, Philadelphia rolls. It's got cream cheese and red tuna, a little deep fried stuff here, a little ginger. You could have some ginger, but anyhow. It's called, very colorful, very well made. You guys would love this. This is tropical. Keep it tropical for crying out loud. I have one more little sip of this. Hey Orlando. Hey Orlando. You don't get any, buddy. Huh? How do you like that? Huh? Look at that. You're not having any because you get too smart with me. You can hang out with her for a while. Why don't you hang out with her? That's alright. Hang out with the... Oh, man. Well, you know, she sways pretty good. We've got those too. Now, next week, we're going to be making the frosty wine because, you know, the holidays are upon us. Get your hard hat off after the football season. Join us next time for the Lolita frosty wine recipe. And we're going to make a frosty wine recipe next time because we've got the holidays. We're starting to get decorated. We've got a Lolita tree here. You probably won't find these anywhere else. We've got Lolita mini teenies. Come on. I mean, what do you want? I mean, they've got the bejeweled, I mean, remember the bejeweled? Look at that guy. Three and a half inches tall, made out of glass, hand painted. We got White Christmas. Okay, I mean, I'm drinking out of a leopard. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. 
And I'm wearing a Denver Bronco hard hat at the beach. Okay, well, that's probably pretty boring. Look, well, you're going to get fired after this week, but join me next time. If you have suggestions for the show, please email us at thebigcoconut at googleisland.com because that's who I've become. Google Island Rich, the big coconut. Because nobody else will talk to me. Will you talk to me? Okay, we're out of here. Let's go. Come on, I got a beach to go to. Let's go for closing shop. I'm hot. You know the hula lives on from generation to generation, and my heart goes out to my kupuna kumhula. See the sparkle in the eyes when they see the cakey hula groove. Hula groove. Then we all have a good time and we dance into the hula groove. Hula groove. Hula groove. Hula groove.